Hello you penis pizzas, Jim Sterling here and this is Black Fawn. This is uh, a roguelike game, they call it a roguelike game with RPG elements, just getting all the buzzwords in there. Uh, but it does look pretty interesting, I actually checked out a little video of it before I uh, uh, downloaded it and it looks like it's got some potential, it's in early access right now. Uh, we're just going to click on new game and see where it takes us. There we go. Uh, it can be useful to test out new equipment in a safe place before you head into battle. Okay. Okay. dokie. So, here we go. So, it's got a bit of a... Bit of a, uh... What's the word? Diablo-y, hack and slashy dungeon crawl look to it. Uh, candles. We've got no candles. We've got no gold. We've got no keys. Oh, that's all gone. But attack is that. Plop, plop. So it's got a nice kind of, not quite cell shaded, but it's got a, a bold, comic y look to it with the outlines and everything. A leader's crest to reveal thy worth in inquiry into. Well, oh, no, off it goes. I know, look, Lex, I don't want to talk about him. I shouldn't have brought him up. Let's just get this quest over with. Okay. So it's. There's a sprint button. But, I don't know, I feel weird about a sprint button like that here. I don't know why. I don't know why I felt that was weird, but that's fine. It's weird that I thought that was weird. E to interact, no. Oh no, just click, everything's good. Pick that up. Pick that up too, I don't know what it is. Okay, right. Have we got any mon- where's some monsters? Ah! Here we go. Oh, fuck. Piss right off. Right. We got one of these dream snatchers. Fuck off. You ain't snatching none of my dreams, you arsehole. Got the little wolf warden there. Another dream snatcher. They ain't getting close. They're gone. What the hell? We leveled up already. Got some gold. I guess that's that. Yeah, I guess we spent the points. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I mean, as far as early access games go so far, this is this is pretty decent. Let's find this, pick up this heart on the map here. Hiding behind the tree. And off we go. So yeah, it's it's uh it's a promising start. After uh, that glut of early access games we've been playing where, like, there's literally no fucking content. It's nice to see games that come out that look quite pretty and seem to have some gameplay to them. And actually look like what an early access game, in my mind, should be. Which is an actual game that just needs fucking finishing. Rather than a game that needs starting to begin with. Oh god, what are you doing? Don't do that. Don't fling things at me. Totem? Goblin totem. Right, we get rid of that. Yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty hack and slashy. Except, well, not really hack and slashy. It's more pointy shooty because we're not really hacking or slashing. That's a very morbid health pickup, but cute at the same time. It's a cute bouncing dead heart. I love it. Oh, that's just that's just popping out more stuff. You got another one? No, nope. I chimed in here and think, did you hear those goblins as they viciously attacked me? Oh, another wolf. We'll uh, right click over the next time we see a monster, see what that does for us. Here we go, picking up more of these purple things. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, that pushes them back. So we go like that, and they'll get pushed back. That's cool. Got a candle now. So what does that do? I guess that throws things? Oh, totem. Something tells me that's bad news and you want to focus on that first. Just my, my experience of totems in games tells me probably the best thing to do. Oh, another candle. Thank you very much. You now, something's summoning these bloody bastard things. Okay, thank you. 
Come here, you goblin shit. Okay, we can't pick that up. Well, no, we can. Right. In, in, agility. So, we got five on everything. You have to spend them in blocks of five. So, we're all well-rounded at the moment. Very much like myself. That was a fat joke, so that you don't have to make it. Oh! What do we want? We, we can't really afford any of it. You can get that for five. Bit of extra health for us. So that's a shoppy man. Um, I didn't want to hit him. Because we can't interact with him or anything. That's the end of the road. I think there was another way through this way though. So let's go. Off we go. Uh, right. Back on the trail. I wonder why that shone. I guess cause I, maybe because I picked up the purple thing. No, no. Look at him, my dog being an arsehole. Probably because a car drove by the house. Oh, God, look at them. They're big for goblins, aren't they? Goblins are usually small. Popularly. Right. That. Get some more gold. Pick up some shite. So what's this? Twilight Lantern Mana Burst uses one mana. Cool. Oh, what's this? Guess someone got here nothing but an empty chest. I'm not sure about that candle, it looked like it's already been used. Why would someone light a candle in here? There's plenty of light. Well, I mean, it might not have been light. It's not always light. No, forest fires are not fun, Lex. So is that it? Have we got to move on from here? Oh, I wish my dog would stop barking. It's really not professional. My dog is unprofessional. Come here, you fucking... There. Arthur Wolf. So is there anywhere else in here? Oh, there's a way up. Good, good. Bloop, bloop. Okay. So yeah, the manor is used to do the, the pushback. Okay. Been pretty good on these wolves. These wolves ain't shit. Another level up. Oh, thank you. Bloody hell. Stay still. Right, what do we want? Current int, which I'm guessing it does damage for us. We'll go with int. Because there's no strength or anything, because I guess you don't have really a fighting class here. It's just... Just magic. Just shooting with your little wand. I do apologise again for the, the Bartleby's barking. I know there were some kids playing outside earlier. They might be hanging. It's dark out there. I don't know what they're doing with kids hanging around outside at that time of night. It's dark. Okay. I saw what looks like a skeleton's face. Otherwise known as a skull. Could be a boss encounter. Let's be careful. Uh-oh. Pan, haven't seen you in years. What are you doing here? Oh. Ha 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 ha. Sweet sister. You haven't really a clue, have you? Oh no, is it going to go bad? What do you mean? I don't have clues, help you two times two. I don't think you can bait me with your riddles. Touchy touchy, still a little early in the day to be so stiff. Besides, it looks like there's a guest that needs attention. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's fucked off. Right. Okay, come on. Right. Brawl to the Wolf Lord. Right up and smack him. Candle. Yeah, this will, we, we can do this. Nay, bother. So I'm not quite sure where the roguelike stuff comes in. I mean, I guess there's permadeath. But, I mean, it looks very much closer to an RPG than, than anything else. Oh, fuck. Just got munched on there. Oof. Oh. 
That's alright, we've still got this. Yeah, nothing. I don't know why I've been clicking this whole time. You just hold down. Job gets done for you. Bollocks! You piss right off, wolf bastard! Out of mana. That doesn't push him back like I was hoping. Fuck. Sorry, he's almost dead anyway. There we are, done. And I'm gonna up my int again. Pop that up. Open that. Crystallis. Chance to negate magical attacks. Attacks? Attacks, sir. Nickname the mage's coice. Click to equip. Yes, please. Alright. We got ourselves some shoulders. And that's that! It's that floor done. Enemies have a small chance to drop talismans which you can equip for passive bonuses. Ooh, I love that. Love passive bonuses. And here we are on the next floor of our adventure. Oop. Give me that. Give me that. So there's story going on in the corner here. Right now, I'm focused more on picking up the purpley things. Oh, it's a little thing. Oh, hello. A big old one. It's still a little thing, but it's got a big old sword. Come here. Oof, that was nasty. So is there a dodge or anything? I'm not sure. I didn't see one in the controls. That's a totem again. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I, I kind of like it. I think this is an alright game. I'm curious to see what happens when you die, though. Since they have promised the roguelike stuff. So, I'm about, I'm about ready to wrap up the video. I think I've given everyone a good taste of it. Plus, there is a green light video I want to do tonight before things are done. Oh, that little thing does some shooting. I've never even noticed that. So we're going to see what happens when we die. Go on. Whether it is indeed Poima death. We've got an achievement for that. Okay, Fathom Seal unlocked. Slain by... So if we do play again... Yeah, so we're back here. Off and push, move, sprint. Yeah, okay. So there wasn't a dodge, so that's, that's good. So we start again. But, yeah, we've got to level up again. But we keep the talismans. Okay, well, there we are. That's your, your black fawn, anyway. Um, yeah. I can see that going somewhere. This is definitely on my list of things to check out again once it comes out of early access. We'll see how that's progressed. Um, maybe a bit of voice acting in there. Um, maybe a dodge. The sprint's okay, but... And the offhand push, you know. What happens if you run out of mana? Yeah, we can't even do that after that. It's not all that effective. A little bit more defense, I think, would work good. Would be nice. But otherwise, that's solid. That's got, that's got legs. So we will see where it goes from here. Cool. Well done. I'm always, I'm always just at a loss for words when I see promising early access games. When, when I see early access games that remind me why early access uh, isn't at its core a bad idea. I'm always just like impressed, but I've got nothing to say. It's just good, good, well done you. So that's that. I'm going to go. And I wish this game all the best. I, I hope to see it improve as it goes on. Good stuff. Bye.